activity with rainbow order or the order of the color spectrum. Now, I did not come up with this idea. All of these art teachers around the world have been doing this activity with their students. Um, and a lot of art teachers have been doing it here. So it's our turn this week. We're gonna try it out. First, the rainbow order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Now, some of you might be saying, but Miss Callie, you forgot indigo. Well, it's been debated that indigo has been taken out of the color spectrum because our eyes cannot distinguish the difference between blue and indigo any longer. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but a lot of you know that Scratch Garden has a song called Roy G. Biv, and that's what helps us remember the order of the color spectrum. If you want to include indigo in there, which is a darker blue, that's totally fine. If not, you can just go with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So you will need to know that order today for today's activity and we can get started. Okay, so the challenge today is to create a color wheel with items that you find around your home. So anything that you can walk around, it can be a t-shirt, a shoe, um, a necklace piece, fingernail polish, um, whatever you find that can fit in the color spectrum order to create a color wheel. Now, one thing you wanna make sure of is you want to know where to return that item because if you use your big sister's fingernail polish and you don't put it back, she could get kind of bad. We don't want that. So make sure you know where to put things back and you can start your scavenger hunt. I'm gonna take you along as I find some things around my home to create my color wheel out of. Let's go. <laughs> my studio and I'm trying to find things around here that would fit in my color wheel. So here's a little, little canvas that's blue. Let's see. I'll turn you around. I can use this green piece. I can use this red. I can even throw in some pink. So there are a few items. I have yellow sticky notes. Let's look over here on my craft cart. I could use this green spray bottle, orange cap. I'm looking for smaller things. So here's a red box that I could use. Um, a paint bottle if I wanted to. I don't have any much yellow, so I'll take another yellow. Here's what I've got going on so far. I think I need to find some more items that are maybe some pinks and purples so you can see i'm starting to get that color wheel look going around with red orange yellow to green blue and i need some purples and some more pinks to add in there so let's keep so i've made my way into my bedroom with my jewelry box um this could definitely go in the yellow part so I'll take that but I needed some purples and blues and I don't see very many besides that straw so let's keep moving. I remember my yarn box that has a pink. I think that I have a purple down in there maybe. Maybe not. Definitely a dark blue. Use miniature paints. Temper paints. Maybe there's a purple, maybe not. All the way in the bottom. You know, that purple. And maybe a couple more purples and pinks and I'll almost be done. But you can see the rainbow order already starting to create this color wheel. Okay, so I found these purple hole punchers to complete my color wheel. And so now I have red, orange, yellow to green, blue, purple, and I added in a little bit of pink just because it's a lighter shade of red. You don't have to add pink if you don't want to. I just chose to throw it in there. So create your color wheels. Let me see what you come up with. Maybe you use all Legos. Maybe you use toys laying around or clothes, whatever you have around your house. Thanks for coming along on my color wheel scavenger hunt. Um, good luck with yours. And I wanted to mention, Brownie points or extra gold stars 
if you come up with a more creative way to create your color wheel. Like maybe you have a bunch of people in your family and you all wear different shirts and lay down on the floor and create a color wheel, that would like blow my mind. Um, anything that you come up with, use those imaginations. See you next time.